Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have allegedly been officially banned from King Charles's coronation. Recently, New Idea claimed that King Charles was forced to put down Prince Harry and Markle following the couple's never-ending attacks against him, Queen Consort Camilla and the rest of the royal family. A source claimed that the monarch thought long and hard regarding his decision to either invite the Sussexes or ban them from the Buckingham Palace balcony, and it seems that he chose the latter. Charles knows that once he does that, there's no going back for any of them. A lot of advisers are encouraging Charles to cut them off completely, but he reminds people he's a father first and a king second. He's not taking banning them from the service, at least the balcony appearance, off the table just yet. He wants to see how things pan out with the Sussexes over the next couple of weeks, the source said. Following the release of Spare, Prince Harry and Markle have gone missing in action, and the tabloid's source claimed that what they're doing is right if they still want to change King Charles's mind about inviting them to his coronation. It's a wise move from them if they have any hope of attending the coronation. After all, they clearly still want to be royal, given that Harry aggressively rejected any suggestion that they should relinquish their titles if they're so done with the situation, the source said. On the other hand, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will be playing more prominent roles at King Charles's coronation. According to a royal author, the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children are expected to be featured more prominently than other members of the family. Commentator Katie Nicholl claimed in an adapted extract from a new book, New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's Legacy and the Future of the Crown, it will highlight the line of succession. An extract from a book published by Vanity Fair reads, As the world comes to terms with the death of Queen Elizabeth II, attention will soon turn to King Charles's coronation, which is expected to take place in the spring or early summer. So what do we know of the plans reportedly co-named Operation Golden Orb? Well, his coronation is expected to be shorter and less expensive than his mother's, and the new king wants the public to witness the experience just as they did his accession. The ceremony will likely highlight the line of succession with William, Kate, and their children featured more prominently than other members of the family. At least one royal commentator thinks that Harry and Meghan have a good shot at being invited, but will be kept off the balcony, which was the case when they attended Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee in June. The concept is to keep the thirsty pair from overhearing anything juicy that might make its way into Harry's next book. Author Claudia Joseph told Good Morning Britain, I think if you look back to the Queen's Jubilee, they weren't included at that stage on the balcony. It's very difficult for the royal family because they are an institution, they are the monarchy, and that's their job. Obviously in the past, there have been times when perhaps the press have been a little bit too intrusive and there have been problems, but ultimately the job is to do good work and to keep quiet and not talk about their feelings and what's going on in public. And that unfortunately is the very opposite of what Harry and Meghan have been doing in the three years since Megxit.